I am here at the Edgewater Casino. They have put up $5,000 for Donovan to play me. If he beats me, he wins $5,000. If I win, I save the company $5,000. What do you do to prepare for this? Same stuff. Not much, man. Just playing a better player than I usually am. That's how bad I run. If you can show me a bluff, I'll give you a hundred dollars cash. Show you a three. Show me a show me a, a bluff. I'll show, I'll show you. A, I'll give you a hundred dollars cash. I'll show you a three. I'll give you two hundred dollars if you can show me a bluff. <laughs> I think it'll be all right. They have a lot of chips to play with, so he's allowed to take a couple of big hits like that. Like the guy. I mean, he played the hand well. He made the lay down when he was beat. But he was ahead the whole way. They got River to straight, so he ended up having trips. But I think he's all right. I think he's fully recovered. He took another couple of smaller pots back, but he should be all right with the chips count. I mean, it's not really a playing bingo crafts or whatever. He can recover fully from this, so I, I still is pretty hopeful that he's going to be all right. How come you didn't call nobody? Like, I, you know? You got nothing on the line here. You got 5,000 on the line. Oh, do you? Okay. I don't get it, but. I got, I got for the love of the game here on, on the line. I hear you. It's freezing in here. It's like I'm playing in the Yukon. 6,000. That's all. Straight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a pretty good hand. Brett's pretty sick for doing that, showing the one card on the flop and the turn revealing his card, showing the jack of diamonds, with, which gives him a possible straight shot with a nine, but. Unfortunately for the other guy, he rivered a, a, a trip aces, so Brad has bet it the whole way, and the guy called him Brad. Fortunately for us, hit the straight, but Brad's pretty sick of doing that, showing his, revealing his carry, making the guy kind of doubt himself and think, and getting an extra call in there. So it's looking pretty good for him. It's just big swing now. And now he just has to hold and don't really have to gamble anymore. He can try to just pick his good spots and pick up the small pots, and gradually takes us down. Thousand. Show me one. Show me one. There you have a big slick. A little heads up action at the Edgewater Casino. At East 5. I know you have pocket threes, five, three, or four six. But I didn't know you think pocket three. It was a pretty good match. One hand there you killed me on was a 10 7 5 flop, five on the turn. I had raised with Jack 5 pre flop. And uh, anyways, he ended up having a pocket three, as he said, which I believe him. And the three came on the river. And uh, that hand crippled me. That cost me like 8,000 or something in chips. But I managed just to, uh, I really kicked his ass um, after that. You know, like I pretty much won every single pot. So, uh, not like kicked his ass, but you know, like the cards I got and the way I played it, it, it looked like it was a bit of a shellacking. Kind of like what I did to Gavin Smith at the uh, Canadian Heads Up. Anyhow, that wasn't bragging, that was just saying the way it was. Um, I'm off to Las Vegas on. On the 29th of November, I'll be back in Canada on Christmas Eve, and then I'll be off to Australia for the month of January, and in LA in February, and then back here at the Edgewater for a poker tournament in March. So, 
Make sure you come out and join us. There'll be satellites for some events. The tournament's gonna be in March, right? So we'll do sat we'll do satellites uh, somehow for March's event. Good to see you, Big Slick. I love and appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.